And what, what is the significance of that sense of we, or that, that sense around the world that it was something that humankind did um, in terms of U.S. foreign relations or the relationship between the United States and the world? Well, I think the United States has to be a power in the world, but a very friendly power and, and not an overbearing power and not a power that tries to be dominant. Uh, I, uh, I thought, uh, well, that's State Department talk and it's true. Uh, <laughs> uh, so where was I about uh, power and uh, what we, uh, and the, uh, the various aspects of, the, of that? I, I think, um, uh, when I saw the, the United States flag, the American flag, uh, planted on the moon by Neil and Buzz, I, I was thrilled and I was very proud to be a citizen of the United States of America. Uh, and I continue to be very proud to be a citizen of the USA. On the other hand, that trip around the world uh, kind of changed my, opened my vista a little bit. Uh, Yes, I, uh, I wouldn't swap the U.S. for any other place, but I think when we're uh, in the business of foreign policy, the technology that goes into a foreign policy, the use of that technology, how it manifests itself, and how we treat other countries, I think it's important that we try not to be I don't mind being the leader, but not the dominant leader. And I think we ought to go uh, bend over backwards to have a unified worldwide approach to the things that we are trying to do in space. It may slow us down a little bit in some cases, but I, I'm not sure speed is the paramount uh, uh, goal. I, I think getting the job done and uh, getting it done uh, uh, by all inhabitants or all uh, able uh, inhabitants of the globe is, is more important. Yeah. Thank you. And I